Hey YouTubers, uh, Luckless Moose here. First video, so it's gonna be a little rough. Um, long story short, glow plugs are burnt out. Oh no, it's all fucked up. Well, we're gonna figure out how to fix it. Okay, so things you're gonna need to know. These are Motorcraft. I got all eight new ones. Uh, ZD a1 uh, spade style not bullet so this I have a 6.9 style motor these are not AC Delcos these are motorcraft I bought AC Delcos to replace these right so there's a little bit of fuckery involved but you're gonna have to bear with me because from what I'm reading online guys like to modify their glow plugs off a 6.2 Detroit diesel to fit the ZDA1 motorcrafts. There's a little difference here. If you can look at it. Tips are the same length. Seat's the same right here. That's the seat. Threads are both 10 millimeter. But when you get up here farther, the nut is a different, completely different height. So, we're going to figure out how to fix that. Another thing, the terminals are different sizes. So, but I believe it will be compatible. We may need to do some soldering. But this is how to turn a 6.9 IDI diesel in 86. And uh, you, instead of using the Motorcraft, which everybody swears by, we're going to turn it into the AC Delco Chevy glow plugs. Because these are uh, constant duty. They're dual coil, so they're self-regulating. They won't burn out. These won't burn out. They reach a certain temperature and they basically shut off. So maybe my manual override button won't uh, be so fucky anymore. Alright, let's get to it. Intermission. Alright, we're using the fancy uh, $150 pointer for this. We are gonna we're concerned we marked it out from this end here to this scribed line which is 125 thousandths or eighth of an inch in metric that is I don't know because I don't care what we're worried about is this right here we're gonna grind that down we could machine it but I'm trying to make this so any any guy can do it not every guy has access to a lathe so I'm gonna do it how any other guy can do it but luckless moose, how are we gonna do that? Well, yeah. And you're gonna need a pedestal grinder or a bench top grinder. This spins fast enough where you can see the it doesn't it doesn't come up very well on camera, but I can see it pretty well. So we're gonna need to get from that scribe line ground down. So this is going to be a bit of a treat. Another important thing when you're grinding these down is to really make sure that you're lubricating properly. Okay. All right, look at that. Not half bad. Let's see if I can jog it around to the scribe here. Look at that. Just about perfect. Now if I would fucking focus. Yeah, there we go. See that? Come on, you cunt. Anyway. It's ground down, and it's ground down smaller than the threads, which is what we were going for. What I did was... I held it at an angle on the wheel. Don't fucking make fun of my wheel. This is <laughs> I haven't changed the wheel since my grandpa was my age. This is an ancestral grinder. Anyway, I held it at an angle and ran it across until it ground down. Pretty simple. Just make sure you've got it tight but not <sighs> clamped down on the fucking... Uh, mm, I don't know what it would be, the tip, I guess it would be. I'm sure that's not ceramic. I'm guaranteeing you it's metal, but... 
err on the side of caution. These are only nine bucks a piece, but that's nine bucks off your table, or nine dollars less in beer. So, on to the next piece. Okay, now we're out in the truck, and we're here to check to see if these connectors, which were smaller than the originals, would fit on the harness. Alright, it's kind of hard to do with one hand here. Give me a second. Looking for a snap or something. Something that would tell me that it's locking in and getting on the prongs. I imagine it will, but. Yeah, it goes in just fine. So, alright, time to put fuckers in. I'll eat them. Okay, really quick while I'm in here. It looks like there is a little bit of play in there. So you don't maybe have to grind it down as back as far as I did for it to see. Alright, I'm in the truck, everything's installed. Go plugs are done right now. Manual go plug, let's go. All right, here we are back in the shop. Looks like a pretty successful fucking swap. That was 25 degree weather. Uh, my IDI is low compression, so it's already hard starting as it is, but I'll take it. Anything else, I can always plug in the block here. Thanks, guys. Keep your eyes peeled for another video soon.